people are making decisions about your commitment to your service based on what they see online. I'll tell a quick little insurance story. Um, I had a young insurance agent. And uh, he was, he, when I say young, he was like 24 years old. And he was good. He was real good. And in his first, like, 60 days, he made about 10 Gs. Okay, that's unheard of. And then he disappeared. Why? Because at 23, 24 years old, 10 grand, he's rich, right? He don't know what we know. So um, he took some time off, and I got a call from a customer that said, hey, does, does this agent not work there anymore? And I was like, well, of course he does. Why would you say that? Well, we noticed he just stopped posting. You know what I mean? So when you get started on something, guys, you got to finish. You have to finish. Because, again, this is all about content, uh, a content funnel. And I want you guys to pay attention to one thing. This funnel gets bigger again at the end. It's actually, like, not technically a funnel. I don't know what shape that is. But it, it starts like a funnel, right? But at the end of the day, you build a client relationship, and it opens the funnel back up to new leads. You know what I mean? So it's almost like uh, an infinity funnel where it gets small, and it starts to open up again, and it gets small, and it, op it opens up again. You must commit to consistent content, man. All right, so this graphic is um, a little bit a little bit older, but I want when I remember when I said it's not that somebody's better than you, it's they're ahead of you. All right, so in, when I first met Brad and he told me to start using video, he said, "Hider, if you do this and you can commit to it every single day without fail to a certain uh, scalability to a certain quantity, he said three to four years from now you'll have something that produces results." Okay, the time definitely mattered. What we figured out was is how we can collapse time was, wi was with more frequency, was with more quantity. Um, a lot of people ask me all the time, you know, um, is it better to post less or more mm -hmm. online? I'm a big component of more just because, like, my posts average a certain amount of eyeballs on them every single one, whether I post five a day or one a day. But I if I post five a day, that's 5x what one a day does. Right? And it's all about eyeballs. We're day trading attention at the end of the day, right? That's all that it is. So how much attention are you keeping of other people, right? Weapons of mass distribution, guys. There's RSS feeds. Like, literally, like, starting a podcast don't have to be that hard, okay? Um, one of the things that my team's working on right now, I got a podcast. It's a good one. I've had unbelievable guests. Um, it's, it's got a, a, a very large audience worldwide, which blows my mind. But, like, even, like, it's something like this. The team can take the audio from this, me talking to you right now. Thank you. The team can take the audio of what we're talking about right now and just drop it in an RSS, and it's a podcast episode. Your coaching calls, whatever it is that they, that they do that they're capturing on camera, which is why you need to, wear my, uh, to have a microphone. Guys, that can be a podcast. You know what I'm saying? So um, my team is working on a second and third and even fourth podcast just because we got it. So why not use it? It might appeal to somebody. It might work. You know what I'm saying? More is more. But literally, like, between all the social platforms, um, all the RSS feeds and everything else out there, guys, it's unbelievably abundant, the opportunity that's available to you if you use it. But you have to use it, man. You have to use it. All right? So Frank Kern is one of the godfathers of copywriting. I love Frank Kern. And this is a formula that I got from him. All right, so in the, in the world of, uh, like, call center, calling leads, you've all heard it's like 12 to 15 contact attempts before you get the deal right or before you reach the customer. Frank Kern says, and we've tested this and it works, that through digital marketing it's taken an average of 32 touches over 20 days if the first time they got introduced to you they were a you were a stranger. All right, so based on that, he says, goodwill – Goodwill videos plus offers times frequency equals money. Well, what does goodwill mean? What does goodwill mean to somebody? Value. Value? It does. I think, for me, goodwill is, I gave it to you for free. I posted it. Yeah. I offered it. You posting is goodwill. Okay? But, again, those call to actions, the offer, that was what I missed at least 3,000 times out of those 6,000 plus posts that you saw. You got me? Like, the offer is extremely important, just like they were talking about before. But then again, it's that frequency, man. Again, I think Instagram wants more people on Instagram. That's what's in it for them, right? It's not, they don't, it's not about you. It's about them. So what are you doing that's going to benefit them? Okay? So for me, if, you know, the average person watches my videos a certain amount of time and I put, do that five times and I five exit, that means I've increased some value for Instagram. Make sense? 
For me, every clip, every short form video that we create has to have these three components of it. You got to have that hook at the beginning that they were talking about. Okay. And tomorrow that is the big application day. You guys are going to get a ton out of this. All right. So the hook plus the offer. And then if they like what they heard, you got to have a call to action. If you like what you saw, comment below, right? DM me this. I talked to a pastor the other day. He was like, would this be a good call to action, man? Just comment prayer if you want us to pray for you. And I was like, that's a great call to action. You know what I mean? People are volunteering information that now I know they're interested, right? But that leads to money. Here's one little funny tip that I'm going to give you guys. And um, I'm going to suge suggest this to Brad, right? So you want to be memorable, right? So the ladies wouldn't understand because they have a different bathroom than us. But to all of you guys have seen the ads on the wall over the urinal, right? Dude, which one of you is going to do it first is going to be, and your face is going to be on the urinal cake. <laughs> You'd remember it, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would remember it. So I think I've seen you from somewhere. Where would I seen you? Yeah, you pissed on my face. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm getting, I'm getting to, the, to the end here, right? So at the, at the end of the day, content leads to attraction, okay? Attraction leads to offers, and offers leads to community. Offers leads to community, all right? Um, shareable content is the best content. We call it a virality rating, all right? And we're always trying to find ways, like, I would rather have more shares than more comments and likes, because shares is get, it's getting exposed to other people's um, networks, right? So check it out. These were just a, this is an example of a carousel post, by the way. All right, so this is an older post, but look, the likes was only 3,585, 3, but the shares were 8,619. Right? That was very powerful. That one clip um, alone, that's a pretty recent one. Um, it hit the half a million mark um, about, about a week and a half ago give or take. We track all these things, what's working, what's not. Three tips for shareable content. They mentioned it before, strong opening hook. Being bold and or controversial. I'm not a real controversial guy, right? So maybe I'd be better if I was. So we're talking about it. And a properly positioned CTA. They said you have one to three seconds. Man, like by, based on what I'm seeing, I got maybe like a second and a half, dude. I don't know. Maybe it's the way I look. But um, you got to grab that attention. We're day trading attention. Whoops. I think they covered this pretty good. Yeah, they covered this good. All right. Do you guys just post and then leave the post? You never go back and com reply to comments? Yeah, I was bad about that too. All right, that's selfish, isn't it? So, all right, so basically a post is an opening dialogue. All right, so I walked out and I said, hey, man, I got this. I like to offer, and you commented on it. You said something back, and then I just did this. <laughs> all right, that's basically what happens if you don't go back and have interactions with people when they give you dialogue opportunities. All right, literally you buy leads, you buy data to have conversations with people. But then when they comment back, like if they texted you back, would you text them back again? But if you don't, if it's, uh, if it's a comment, we don't always do that. All right? And if you're getting some hate, man, that means you're doing it right. All right? So that video I showed you guys before, it was about something simple as eye contact. I was talking to a baseball team. Eye contact is a sign of respect. And all the Karens came back and talked about that I need to get educated on ADD. Oh, yeah, because ADD, you can't make eye contact. That's a thing, I guess, right? But the bottom line was it was out of context. I was talking to these players about you want to get to the next level, all right, and, and you want to be a leader. The, the, the context was Michael Jordan. There was a picture of Michael or a clip of Michael Jordan in the last dance when Phil Jackson, they're in like game six or whatever it was, and Phil Jackson's talking to the team, and everybody's tired and their head's down. And Michael, Jackson is, or Michael Jordan is like right next to Phil staring at a fa like a hole through his face. It was intense. You know what I mean? Dude, and all the team woke up when he did that. So it's about leadership, man. It's all opportunity. So bottom line, go back and reply to your comments. Um, go back and have dialogue with people, no matter how ridiculous they are. You know, And uh, I'm to the point now where it's like the easiest way for me to do that is just block off 30 minutes a couple times a day. Go back and hit them all right then and there. You know what I mean? And then again, look, see the, uh, the call to action at the end. All right, real quick, your content funnel. 
you got your long form content. That could be a podcast episode, could be a coaching call. Long form is 45 minutes to maybe an hour. Medium form content, that's where you take that 60 minute thing and you can break it up into 10 minute increments, okay? Short form, that's your, that's your 45 to maybe 90 second pieces of content. All from the same original thing. All right, you can get B-roll, sizzle reel content. Um, sometime, uh, Brad had one that uh, he was talking about in sales. This is the ultimate closing thing. You can only pick two out of these three. Y'all remember that one? And it went nuts. And then people were using his audio on top of their own videos. Right? So what you say can be shareable as well because people can use your voice on top of their other stuff. But sizzle real content, especially from p podcast episodes, it's just hanging out around the room and stuff like that. That's B-roll. All right, carousel and photo content. It might be a, a photo that leads to a video that gets them to swipe right. Or is it swipe, swipe left? Swipe right's a, the dating thing. I'm married, don't tell. Um, so uh, the content, the, the carousel stuff's really good. Video podcast episodes and audio podcast episodes. Guys, one video, one coaching call can literally get you all those. There's no excuses, man. There's no excuses, okay? One 90-minute content session with a good creative team can lead to as, as little as, or as many as 15 pieces of long form, 30 pieces of short form, 25 lifestyle images. What's the total? Who's good at math? 30 plus 25 plus 15? 70. So if you're doing two posts a day, you just did 35 days worth of content with that one thing, right? If you're doing one post a day, 70 days, Okay. If you're doing that, you might as well not do it at all. That's right. I agree with that. Three to four posts a day times six channels, folks. Write that down. Burn it into your forehead. Get a tattoo when you leave here and don't <laughs> listen to any other speaker. That's right. That's right. And be intentional about everything that you're doing, man. Like, people are like, I don't know what to post. Dude, there's a holiday for everything every day of the year anymore. You know what I mean? So you can make a post about that if you had to. Google gives it to you. Right, but be intentional with everything else that you do. Just like if you're working out, you got to have something you can measure. Um, you know, start with something like that. That's just a sample of a content calendar that uh, I threw together real quick to show you guys something. You know what I mean? So intentionality is everything. What you focus on grows. You know, we were reverse engineering what the finished product we saw Brad doing for years, and I didn't know any of this. What was underneath the hood? It was hard. All right, and here's one more little tip. Um, that really helped us when we were in an in insurance and all these insurance agents were coming and they didn't know anybody. They didn't have a brand. Nobody would buy from them. They were having to in coldly introduce themselves through by the, through the data that we provided for them. All right. Now with that CRM, they always treated that CRM like a tool. So like we humanized that thing. I was like, if that was a person, what would they be doing today? And how do you know if they would do a good job? So all of my social media, it's a person. And what is, it, what is their job today? And how do I know if they did a good job? So just humanize all the elements of, that you're growing because it's made for humans. Okay, we would all agree that if you could have a human call another person for you versus a machine, you'd probably want the human, right? So turn that machine into a human when you build out your strategies. Okay, give it a name. My CRM's name is Iris. If you want to lose weight, are you just losing weight or do you have a target weight? The best at anything can shoot, hit the smallest targets, right? So what's your specific target for your marketing department? Humanize it, dude. Humanize everything, everything you got, put it to work, and, and then have something that you can measure to know if they're doing a good job. Feel me? Awesome.